Okay, well, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, all of these diseases are uh, diseases of uh, the fatty areas of the brain. And it's just a matter of location, which one um, you get. They're, they're very similar in origin, um, very similar when you look at them under the microscope. It's just a, a random appearance of the damage, okay? And sometimes people can get all of them. I mean, you can get ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, dementias. In fact, you can get all four dementias at the same time. There's nothing that says you can only get one at a time. And so people do get all these diseases at the same time, and they're actually caused by um, um, antioxidants being deficient. In other words, free radical damage to the fatty tissues of the brain. Uh, again, your brain is 75% by volume myelin, which is the fatty insulation material, insulates all the nerve fibers of the brain, prevents all this um, various um, short-circuiting. Uh, Parkinson's disease, in particular, is certain ganglion or nerve cell bundles in the brain, and when they get damaged, uh, you get typical Parkinson's disease with the palsy, with the shakes. And, of course, when you take in, I like people with Parkinson's disease, ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, um, with um, uh, things like uh, MS, multiple sclerosis, and, uh, and any of the dementias, particularly Alzheimer's disease, to take in six to ten eggs a day. They got to be soft scramble and butter. They got to be soft poached uh, or soft boiled. I don't like them hard boiled or hard poached because it changes the fats too much. I want the fats to be in, in pristine condition, particularly cholesterol, uh, very, very important in all these diseases. And everybody, uh, they see the results, but they keep wanting to twist into uh, supporting a low cholesterol diet for brain health. Your brain. 75% by weight uh, cholesterol. Okay, 75% uh, actually by weight is um, the myelin, and almost 100% of this myelin is cholesterol. So you have to eat uh, four to six eggs a day. If you have these diseases, I would eat 10 eggs a day, soft scrambled butter and are poached or soft boiled, and you can kind of make them fun by throwing a little salsa on there, particularly sugar-free salsa um, or ketchup or whatever flips your switch as long as you're staying away from frying no frying and no oils. I don't like the oils thing just from the standpoint that they oxidize over time. Even in the freezer, they will oxidize. And then, of course, I like to uh, add the um, our Smart FX, three of those twice a day, unless they're a 200-pound person, and three three times a day of Smart FX. They're in particular uh, DHAs and EPAs from fish oils, which are the raw materials for your brain to make neurotransmitters. And I like the Total Recall, uh, I'd take two of those twice a day and recommend that, if, even if you don't have the problems. But if you do, I'd take six of those a day, two at breakfast, two at lunch, two at dinner. Total Recall has the phosphatidylserine, phosphatidylcholine, which are the raw materials for your brain uh, to, to make uh, neurotransmitters. And then I like selenium, a great antioxidant. Um, two of those three times a day, or if you're 200 pounds, three, three times a day, the selenium, again, to uh, really raise your antioxidant power to help deal with already oxidized fats in your brain. And, of course, I like the Beyond Tangerine, 5,745 auric points per serving, two or three servings a day, depending on your body weight, will give you anywhere from 11 to uh, 11,000 to 17,000 auric points per day just from that one product. And that's really good to, for supporting, promoting healthy brain function. Um, and then, of course, I like um, all the antioxidants they can afford, uh, which would include Beyond Juice, or Beyond Juice, just a great product there. It has 400% more antioxidant power than a well-known competitor out there in the market. And so we really love Beyond Juice, the OPCTs, which is decaffeinated green tea. It has red grape skin and red uh, grape seed extracts. It has tomato extracts. And it's just a, really a great uh, antioxidant product, OPCTs. I'd take six of those a day. And then we have the EQ factor. Uh, which has resveratrol and coenzyme Q10 and 2,200 more ORAC points that come from seaweed and sea vegetables. And it's really a great product. It's a liquid and really tastes great. It's called the EQ Factor. And, of course, uh, our dark chocolate, uh, Cocojevity, it's a liquid. It has 3,000 ORAC points. You take three ounces of that a day. That gives you 9,000 ORAC points. So it's easy, really easy to get up over 20,000 ORAC points 
um, ORAC, which is an acronym or abbreviation for Oxygen Radical Absorption Capacity. And uh, this is uh, with the direction you want to go in when you have Parkinson's disease, when you have MS, multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, a.k.a. ALS, uh, any of the dementias. Of course, when you have anything going on with the blood vessels in the brain, like senile dementia, a.k.a. vascular dementia, you want to throw in the, the ultimate daily tablets, which is designed to support and promote healthy blood flow.